Hey guys, welcome back to Shotgun Nation. Thanks so much for coming back down to the channel. Today we get the Black Aces Tactical Pro Series Bullpup. Yep, we've been doing a lot of bullpup uh, reviews here in the past. Uh, we've knocked out the TriStar Compact, also the RIA VRBP100, and now we are moving on to the Black Aces Tactical uh, Pro Series Bullpup. We're also going to be featuring their Bullpup Pump, uh, which is a 50 state legal pump action uh, bullpup shotgun here later on in the video as well. Uh, but for now, we're sticking with the semi auto. Um, so here it is. Let me crack off a few rounds and then we'll start talking about it. All right, very nice. So you can see it does have a last round bolt hold open. That is a result of the magazine itself. That little ramp right there on the back of it pops up on the last round. Locking the bolt to the rear. You can load this on a uh, closed bolt, no problem. Um, you'll just have to put it in there and then pull your charging handle to the rear as opposed to just hitting your bolt release button that they have here. Um, so you can see it's very similar to like the AR style um, switches, controls, and ergonomics. We've got the bolt hold open and bolt uh, close switch here. It does have an extended mag release on this side. Um, it does also have a mag release on the other side as well, so it's ambidextrous as well as an ambidextrous safety switch, both very well marked on the left and the right side. So it's got a whole lot of rail space. Uh, however, it did not come with a front sight. This is one that I had to put on myself. Uh, generally, I put on my Burris Fast Fire 3 Optics. Uh, whenever I went to go put it on here, I noticed that it, it didn't uh, tighten down correctly. Um, no amount of torquing on that screw was going to tighten it down. And I've never had that issue before with my Burris Optics. Um, and also, another set of sights that I tried to put on this was a little loose as well. Um, this set of sights is very expensive. It's a really nice set of sights. Um, it has a lot of adjustability and it, I was able to get it to uh, tighten down on here just fine. So there are options out there, but beware. Um, there may be a few options that don't quite work on it. Uh, but it does come with a uh, vertical foregrip here, as you can see. Lots of other rail space on both the left and the right side. This is kind of a faux suppressor barrel cover. Um, it's there, it works as the uh, locking nut uh, for the forend. It also comes with a set of three chokes. There is one inside and then two more in the box along with the choke tube uh, removal tool and installation tool. The charging handle does uh, move while the bolt is firing. So on the past, uh, I believe it was the Rock Island Armory, it had a non-reciprocating bolt handle, which I thought was pretty cool because there's no uh, fear of hitting it on your body if you were to decide to shoot from the hip. Uh, this one does reciprocate, so watch out for that. Um, a really nice grip I want to point out there very reminiscent of an AR style grip. I'm kind of wondering if an AR grip would actually fit on that. But the one that comes with is super nice. It's rubber, very, very, very comfortable. So we'll give them props for that. Um, as you can see on both sides, it has a sets for um, spots for quick release sling mounts, both there and there as well. It is an anodized aluminum uh, top uh, upper here, as well as the back side. Um, so the forend and the uh, receiver itself are both um, aluminum. However, the bottom half here is polymer. Uh, I don't see any issue with that being polymer. It definitely saves on some of the weight. But I do like the fact that most of this is metal as opposed to some of the other bullpups that we've been reviewing. Um, and also, initially Black Aces had some design here. It looks very similar to the um, key mount or key mod, I believe that's called. Um, but it was non-functional, so I'm glad that they removed that. I do like cool aesthetics, but I also like the functional aesthetics. So that is an improvement that Black Ace has already uh, asked the hunt group to do with that. So um, the butt pad on it is very, very stiff, uh, pretty small. However, I don't really have any complaints about it. I've shot it several times. Um, I was actually, I guess, kind of surprised to see that that small amount of butt pad gives you that much um, comfortability when you're shooting. Let's talk about the trigger squeeze on it. Very crisp trigger. Shotguns, uh, especially some of these Turkish shotguns, I'm used to real clunky triggers. Let's see the reset. Kind of a clunky reset. But a very, very crisp trigger pull. It's got to be maybe a four and a half pound trigger. Again, just a real clunky reset. Got a lot of traveling to get to that reset as well.
Not very much over travel either after dropping the hammer. So I wonder if that reset could be cleaned up a little bit. However, that trigger pull, that's pretty nice. The cycling rate also seems to be uh, pretty quick, so that's fun. Um, with the Pro Series M, um, I felt like the cycling rate was a little slow. I was able to outrun the hammer a few times, but that could have just been the drum magazines I was shooting also. I'm always screwing things up for people I know. Uh, what you but, just uh, saw me shoot there was some 1400 FPS birdshot. Um, not real light loads, but not real heavy either, but you see it had no issue um, cycling those. Um, the ejection was actually very well, went a good three, four feet away from me. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't suspect that it would have any issues with light load. I will not be disassembling this in this video. Um, I've got to send this back to Atlantic Firearms. Um, again, they are the ones who sponsored today's video. So do go check out AtlanticFirearms.com. See what all they have to offer. They've got ammunition, guns, uh, old and new, military surplus, uh, gear, merchandise, everything you could think of. So just go check out um, Atlantic Firearms. We really appreciate them for keeping our content alive on the channel today. So the only thing right off the bat that I can say that I don't like about it is the uh, the dust cover here, or the deflection shield is probably what it is. It's made of polymer. Um, now I'm not saying that's gonna break right away, but knowing me and how I'm not real easy with things, I would suspect that will get broken at some point. Um, so I will be watching out for that. Again, it's on loan, so I'm not gonna go hitting it with a hammer and see if we can break it today. But, you know, that's just me being picky, trying to find things to let you know um, that that would be something that I would change. I would prefer if that was a um, aluminum or possibly just even not even there. Um, but surely it's there so the shells aren't coming up um, closer to your face. Possibly even uh, deflecting some gas out of your out of your uh, view while you're shooting as well. And also, I wish it came with the set of sights right out of the box. Um, that's just kind of how I feel about firearms. They should be sent to you, uh, ready to go. But that does give you the option to customize and personalize. I know lots of folks who do use red dots. Uh, some of you guys even put scopes on your shotguns. Uh, some simply just want a single point of aim in the front. Uh, that's kind of how I like to run it. Um, but the options are all there for you. They definitely leave that up to you. So can't complain too much about that. All right, guys. Well, I'm interested in running some more rounds through this thing. Let's check it out. Locks back like it's supposed to. Kind of tore that guy's head off there, didn't we? All right. Well, Let's uh, get some more shooting footage here, make my video a little bit more enjoyable for you guys. I know you don't come here for all the talking, so uh, enjoy the shooting footage. I hope the music doesn't piss you off too much like it does some people in the comments, but I really hate a video without some sound to it, so enjoy the shooting, guys. All right, so I got five rounds of birdshot loaded up, followed by five rounds of the Black Aces Tactical double up buckshot that they're bringing in. Um, see if you can spot the difference here. Uh, let's see if we can go ahead and clean the target off there. That's how you clean the range up. And I just wanted to point out that you're not stuck with the two five round magazines that come with this thing. They have lots of capacity options out there on the market and this thing does uh, take a lot of those magazines. The Turkish style 1919 magazines. Um, you saw in the previous video we talked about the drum mag. Um, hopefully we will get that running, but again, that was no fault of Black Aces Tactical or the Hunt Group. Um, their platform is running very well in the supplied magazines. But I picked up this 10 round magazine from Atlantic Firearms. So do also, like I said, go check out AtlanticFirearms.com. we got lots of stuff in store, including that 20 round drum magazine. So let's see how this sucker runs. There we go, guys, just like it's supposed to. Uh, same last round bolt hold open there. Works just like the other five round magazines. <laughs> that was really nice. Uh, so yeah, it's really, really cool to be able to optimize the amount of uh, capacity you can get in your shotgun, especially when you're coming down to something this short. Guys, this thing is only about 30 inches long, um, and that's barely legal, considering that the non-NFA shotguns that are out there that only hold three or four rounds in the chamber are about 26 inches. So. Four more inches of length, about, what, 
16 more rounds on board is a possibility. So not a bad defensive weapon uh, to choose from. Also, you guys could use this thing for skeet shooting, um, for hunting. Um, it's got a lot of applications uh, because of the rail space, because of its compactness, because of the choke tubes that come involved, um, because the completely um, personalized uh, setup that you can put on top. Since it doesn't come with a front sight or rear sight, you can put whatever you want on there. So that's a pro and a con in itself <laughs> to say like, oh, I'm glad they left that off, but at least you're gonna put some thought, hopefully into what you put onto it. So again, the 10 rounder ran really well. Uh, ergonomically speaking, it's out of the way. Doesn't even touch my arm. Um, there's the footprint of it right there. It really doesn't add a lot. You know, they do have other magazines that go really far. Um, and that might be a little silly to use. However, in the compactness of what we have here, I think a 10 round magazine looks pretty good at it. And it offers a high capacity without being in the way. But let's pull out that drum magazine and let's see how that's going to run today. 20 round drum magazine. I also found this one at linkfirearms.com. Go check them out. Lots of cool stuff. Uh, so we're going to try to run this. Again, this works in any 1919 style magazine. So most of your Turkish style uh, semi-autos out there uh, will take this uh, draw magazine as well. So let's load it up. First of all, let's see how it fits in the hands. Now guys, I want to say that the Rock Island Armory, whenever I shot that one and I put the drum in it, um, I had to really poke my arm out uh, to be comfortable. But in this one, I feel like there's enough room that I'm going to be able to hug that drum. I'm still hugging it pretty tight. But as you can see, I'm not way out here like I was with the other one. So that is a pretty realistic ergonomic for the drum mag. Um, so I don't know. Let's shoot this thing. I'm interested to see how it runs. One little hiccup there. Woo, there it is. Man, <laughs> well, I don't know how much of that you guys can see. Ran very well, had one little hiccup right there. Uh, I don't know how many shotguns I've broken in to use drums. Um, I never have this much luck in the first couple of drums. So yeah, Black Aces Tactical uh, Pro Series bullpup lots of rounds on board so check that out uh 20 round drum magazine the 10 rounder also uh, all got that stuff from atlanticfirearms.com all right guys well that's it for the pro series uh bullpup i want to show you one more thing that they've got it is a pump action bullpup shotgun very similar to this one let's check that out all right and this one is the bullpup pump uh so pump action 12 gauge bullpup 50 state legal as you can see here it has a, a spring assisted pump Sends itself back forward, stripping the round out of the magazine. Um, from my past experience, these have been very reliable types of platforms. Um, and it does not have a, a lockup. The spring itself keeps the bolt uh, in the forward position when firing. Um, so that means that if you want to take a shell out, there's no bolt release button. You simply just pull back on it and it goes. Um, it does come with one five round magazine, as you can see here. Um, and also, just like the other one, does not come with a sight uh, set at all but it does have plenty of real space for you to customize and put whatever you want on there. Um, it does come with a vertical fore grip. I speculate that you can fit a chainsaw grip on that thing also. It does have a place to mount your sling, but it also has the quick release mounts as well, um, just like the semi-auto version. Again, all aluminum, uh, upper receiver, fore end, and then we got a polymer, uh, lower, ambidextrous safety switches, and the same M4 style uh, bolt lock open, uh, bolt release, ambidextrous magazine release. And there's the other side right there, guys. Um, again, it's got the same polymer uh, shell deflector, probably a con in my opinion. However, until it breaks, there's really nothing to complain about. And it's also got that um, really nice rubber grip. Well, let's put it through rounds through it and see how it goes. A little bit of a short stroke there on my part. And it seems to think that it is locked 
seems to think that it is out of ammunition because it is locked to the rear. Um, so yeah, that last round I wasn't able to feed it. So I'm thinking that whenever I short stroked it, the uh, ramp on the back of the magazine popped up uh, before we can now get the shell into the chamber. And that's uh, going to hinder the bolt from moving back forward. Let's see if we can run that last shell again. Yeah, I ran it just fine. So that short stroke, my bad, guys. So again, locks open whenever it's out of shells. Good indication for you so that you know that you need to uh, put a new mag in. Drop it out. It stays in the locked back position. Uh, once you load it back a new magazine, pull it back. It's going to strip itself and go forward again. It runs pretty smooth and shoots smooth. Uh, I would imagine that this is a great option for those folks over in those uh, states that can't buy the semi-auto. Um, I personally would get the semi-auto uh, if it were me and I were paying the uh, pretty much the same amount of money for both of them. Um, but I do like the spring-assisted action there. Uh, I've had one in the past that was very similar to that, and the reliability on that was off the chain as well. So I imagine this one's going to be just as reliable. So there it is, yeah, Pro Series uh, Bullpup Pump. Also go check that out, AtlanticFirearms.com. Uh, so guys, that's all the bullpups I have on the menu for uh, this week, month. Um, if there's any other bullpups out there that you want me to review, uh, put your comments down uh, below. Make sure you like and subscribe and share some of our content as well. Um, the more we grow, the more motivated people are gonna be to uh, send me some things to check out. Um, again, I'm gonna do my best to be honest with you, give you the pros and cons. Uh, take it or leave it. Uh, I enjoy what I do, and I hope you guys enjoy watching the channel. Thanks for sticking around.